It's all about durability, and it looks like a lot of fun. Of course, we've got the F-150, and over there we have three other trucks, and we're going to test all four trucks in the same basic way. We're at the Michigan Proving Grounds, and specifically a little stretch of heaven here they call Silver Creek. You have to imagine a, uh, a river suddenly with no water in it, and what they've tried to duplicate is what the bottom of that creek bed would look like. It runs a quarter mile. You've got steel on this side, and then you've got these uh, speed bumps over here. So there's really no smooth area at all. The plan is to take each truck at 25 miles an hour and see just how durable they are. We don't know precisely what the results will be, but we're going to shoot it from every angle. And my guess is one of them's going to do better than the others. So aside from having a lot of fun and watching our uh, stunt driver get thrown around like a tug toy, wow. we actually learned something. Yes, we did. We learned how tough it is to pass our uh, durability course. The F-150 does well because of the fully box frame, mm -hmm. three inch wide leaf springs, and the shock absorbers right up by the wheel ends. Where did the, uh, where did the Dodge fall short? Well, the Dodge was pretty jumpy, and that's because of the coil springs with the long jounce bumper. Mm -hmm. You'd bottom out on the jounce bumper, and it would kick the back end up. And what was up with the Chevy? Well, the Chevy had the um, narrow leaf springs and the shocks inboard of the springs, so you got a lot of side to side there. It had a little trouble staying on the track. And I haven't seen it in a while, but is the Toyota still attached to itself? Just barely. You know, Toyota doesn't have the fully box frame. They have a C-section mm -hmm. of the frame and narrow leaf spring. So that back end is very, very compliant. Uh, and you can see the results. Because we started with the Ford, I might as well confess now, my first thought when I saw the Ford F-150 come down here was, oh no, that looks pretty rough. But in a relative world, it did stand up and it wins. Yeah, it does win. I mean, it's what Built Ford Tough is all about. It starts right here on Silver Creek. You build them, you get to knock them around. You got a pretty good life going yeah, it's on there, man. Fun job. Yeah. Where's the truck? Somewhere. I'm going to take it for a spin if you don't okay, care. Sure. Yeah, I got some ideas of my own. Bring it back. I'm going to find some speed bumps.